G'day, and congratulations on your new TPS Ranger. My name's Ben, and I'm in this video, I'm just gonna give you a short guide to get you set up and started quickly with the instrument. So first of all, we've got the instrument in its box, and its lovely packaging, which is very nice. So you can take that out. That's the, the Ranger itself. Uh, in the box, you've got uh, the wall plug and charge cable. So you can connect them and to, to charge the instrument and also for downloading data, which we'll come to later. Now in terms of setting up the instrument, it's very simple and very straightforward. Uh, to turn it on, power button's down here, just hold that on for three seconds, and then that will turn on the instrument. It has auto detect for the sensors. So in terms of getting things plugged in straight away, um, it, it doesn't matter which parameter or sensor that you've got, you're just gonna plug that in. So got these protector caps on the end, um, these just slide off, pop off like that. Um, these are not required for waterproofness, but if you don't need all of them taken off, you're only using one sensor for example, might as well keep them on and they'll keep, keep out sand and grit and things like that for use in the field. So take them off, choose the sensor you're gonna use. I've got all the sensors here. I'm gonna take out the pH sensor. All you have to do is connect up the cables with the cables that you've got. <clears throat> and then go ahead and plug that into the instrument. When you go to plug these in, uh, there's two little red dots you need to line up, but you can basically just spin the connector around until you find the right spot, clicks into place, and then the display is gonna update to show that it's got that sensor connected. So that's the same for all the sensors. Obviously, uh, you've got these protective covers uh, to keep them safe, and in the case of pH, to keep them uh, dra uh, damp. Um, obviously go ahead and uh, you know you, you want to give them a bit of a rinse and a clean and perform your first calibration. Um, <clears throat> in order to do that, it's very, very straightforward. So the, the, the settings for the instrument are very simple. So we've got our measurement screen, which shows what's currently on there. That's the measurement button. Uh, we can go into calibrate here uh, and jump straight into our calibration screen. It gives you the option for which sensor you want to calibrate. We've only got one plugged in. So that's the one that we can use. So if we jump into that screen, we can see a little bit of the history of the sensor, when it was last calibrated, what, what, it, was, uh, what it was calibrated with, um, and a bit of a health indicator. Now at this point, if we wanted to, we could go ahead and perform a calibration. Um, we'll go back to measurement screen just to show that. <clears throat> a couple of other things to point out. We've got a capture button here. So when we press capture, we just press that once, and it captures the data that's live on the screen and we can download that later to the computer. If we hold that capture button down for a couple of seconds, it's gonna ask us if we wanna start data logging. So we can actually go ahead and confirm that. And when we do, uh, when I actually press, yep, press that, uh, the little icon comes up on the screen to show that it's actually data logging. Now, <clears throat> on the screen, you'll see it's a pretty big display. We've got the icon to show that it's pH. It's telling us what the channel is. Obviously, you've got battery uh, as well. Uh, and we've got temperature, the inbuilt temperature on the sensor, and if it's automatically temperature compensated. One other thing that we can do to update the display here, I'll just jump into settings, and we can go down to pH, and when we look at pH, we can go down and add a secondary unit. So I'm gonna turn that on, and when I go back to the measurement screen, it's gonna show me that we've got pH, and now it's also showing the millivolt reading, which can be useful for some users. So very simple, very straightforward to use, uh, all the sensors plug in the same way with the same cables. Obviously, you want to go ahead and do that calibration once you've once you've actually unpacked it and received it. So, in order to in order to go ahead and actually charge the unit, all we have to do is we've got this cable which clips on down the end here. That's your charger. So that's all it is. Just clips onto there, and then you obviously you've got a USB C, so you can plug this into your computer. You can use the wall plug that came in, in, the, in the kit as well to charge up your instrument. That's also used for downloading your data. So you can plug this into your computer, jump into settings, um, export the data to your computer, and it just comes out as a CSV file. So a spreadsheet, basically, with all the data that you need. Really simple, really, really easy to use. And that's pretty much it. That's how to actually get up and running with your instrument. You can plug in whichever sensors you have, whichever different cable lengths, get them calibrated and go ahead and start taking readings straight away. 
Um, and then, yeah, when you're finished, it's pretty straightforward. You just power it off. Oh, one more setting I just do want to show you because I absolutely love it. So if we go into the display, we can change the background to dark mode. So that's just nice and easy on the eyes and looks really good. Um, we all love the dark mode here at TPS. Uh, we think it's actually pretty cool. If you have any questions, you need any help getting anything set up or questions about the sensors, by all means, get in touch, give us a call uh, and we'll help you out as best we can. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, purchasing with TPS. I hope you enjoy many happy years of water quality testing with the TPS Ranger.